Hi guys, it's me, Lisa ASMR. I'm going to be eating some ice cream while answering your questions. Hmm. Um, so, Brandon T, I see that you're first. Good job. And hi, Kenneth Arsenal. And hi, Get Bobby 911. Aw, you're amazing too, James. Thank you. Aw, special me. Thank you. So sweet for calling your kid. You're so, so sweet. Mm. Um, exotic Plush says, Hi, Lisa. Can you get this Venmo, please? PayPal is not working for me. I really love the video. Oh, Exotic, you're so sweet. Um. Sorry. <laughs> I haven't had dinner yet. Um, we do PayPal for a reason though. That's why we do PayPal. Oh well, thanks, Kenneth, for saying you're listening. Uh-oh. Hmm. I hope I don't say this wrong, but is it Neromia? Norman? Okay. Thank you so much for the compliment. Calling you beautiful. Mm, so kind, so kind, so kind. Um, Chase Perkins, you asked, what is my dream job or career? Mm, I have a few. Um, sorry, it's melting fast. I'd probably say like acting is definitely like up there along with forensic psychology. Being a psychologist used to be one, but a lot of people don't like to like they don't really want to help themselves. They kinda just continue to put themselves in a bad situation. And they won't want to help themselves until they're at that point in helping themselves. So psycho like being a psychologist is no longer on the top of my list. Um, because I help people with ASMR, so, you know, kind of doing it, and also being able to act with ASMR, pretty awesome. Oh, much love, Sebastian. Oh, Latrell, yes. What is your favorite animal? By the way, guys, sorry, it's been two months since I made the video saying you ask and I will answer, and I was planning to do it, like, a week after putting that video up, and I didn't, so my apologies. Um, favorite animal? That's really hard because I'm an animal lover. See this little cutie? Yeah. So cute, huh? She's so cute, huh? Perfect timing, huh? Anyways. <laughs> um, uh, I love wolves. I love elephants and dolphins. So probably on my top. Rechi G. I am 27. Almost 28. Ian Crooks. I don't know if you say your name as Ian. I know a guy who did pronounce his as Ian, so if it's Ian, I apologize. Um, what has gotten you into the giant test ASMR industry? So honestly, excuse my throat. Hmm. Um, I didn't know that I was doing giantess like stuff until someone was like, you're a giantess. I'm like, oh, okay. How? And they were like, can you do more? And I'm like, what is making me a giantess? And they're like, the point of view and like the angle of the camera. I'm like, okay, cool. So then I like ran with it, you know, like I was like, oh, like the BFG and all this stuff. So I started making the content and then I started getting a lot of requests and then customs and here we are. <laughs> Brecci, you said you like Filipino friends? Um, no, I'm assuming it's supposed to be Filipino. But um, yeah, actually I do have uh, at least uh, one Filipino 
friend. I used to work with her. Such a sweet woman. They're so beautiful. Mm. Hi, Owen. Oh, I'm glad that you think I have amazing videos always. You're so sweet. Mm. Hi, Spawn. Sorry, that was his claw coming me off of the cushion. Hopefully he didn't puncture it. Stop. Hi, cutie. Yeah. <laughs> so cute, huh? Live, love, laugh. Said, hey, Lisa, what makes you have the bubbly personality? Because whatever it is, keep it up. I love how bubbly you are. Just like me. Stay safe. Aw, so sweet. Thanks, live, love, laugh. Um, honestly, it's like when I'm comfortable, I'm a very bubbly person, but I'm like an introvert, extrovert. So I'm pretty shy until I get comfortable. And once I'm comfortable, I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, hey, what's up? <laughs> so, yeah, that's me. <laughs> but I'm glad to hear that you also have a bubbly personality. It's good. And I hope you stay safe too. Much love. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Are you worn out from our walk? Are you worn out from our walk, huh? Yeah. Tongue sticking out the side. So cute. Alright, let's see. Hola. Is it Haber? Haber? Uh, Chilango? I hope that's correct. In English, I'd pronounce it uh, Heber or Eber. Chilongo? I don't know. But, hola, salud, salud, saluditos. Hmm. I'm sorry, Omar. Um, unfortunately, like, I'm pretty sure this doesn't translate for me. Oh crap. Y'all, yeah, I'm struggling. Oh, Who's a little cutie pie? Who's a little cutie pie? Sorry, let me bring my computer a little bit closer to me. It's okay. Look. Let's see. I'm pretty sure you're trying to say love you. So much love. Perfect timing like always, Levi. <laughs> You a cute puppy? You a cute puppy? Yeah. So cute. <laughs> okay. Okay. Say hello for the camera, huh? Um. So much love, Omar. Um. Levi Ackerman. Oh my gosh! Levi from Attack on Titan. <laughs> Do you have a favorite video game? Man, um, no, I just really get into games, and then, like, sometimes, like, depending on it and how captivating it is, I, like, want to just, like, keep playing it constantly, but, um, no, I just, I really like all different types of games as long as, like, it keeps my attention, you know? So, like, the first Bioshock, hell yeah. Second one was good, third one, well, not for me. Um, Mortal Kombat, there's one that I can't, it, like, I really like over the other ones, but I can't remember what one it was. Um, Crash Bandicoot, Spyro, I'm an old school type of person, Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. What about you? Oop. And, Mike Five. Is you boss? Ah, uh, heck yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't think I'm, uh, superior, inferior to anybody. But I like to pretend that I'm a boss, you know? I call all my friends punks, and I'm like, why am I punk? I'm like, because you're a punk, and I'm the boss of the punks, and you're the one who works on a Saturday. But Loki, I work on a Saturday, too, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. He's just too cute, y'all. I just, I don't, I, I, I just don't know. I just, I just don't know. <laughs> Alright, anyways. Dark Nasty. 
I know who you are. I'm not gonna out your name just in case. I know sometimes I say it in your cool that thing. Um, hey Lisa, what are things in life you're most proud of? Cool. That's a really deep question, Dark. Um, you know, I'm proud of a few things that are like different in the aspects of like how other people would be like, oh, like you're proud of that, but you're proud of this. And this might be more good than that. Like, I don't know. It's weird. So, <laughs> um, some of the things I'm really proud of. I'm really proud of the fact of being like when I worked in car sales, I was an honest car salesperson. Um, because I don't like screwing people over. Because I put myself in their shoes, you know? Um, second thing I'm really proud of is, and this is not in any type of order, by the way, um, is the work that I did when I worked in a victim shelter and also as a substance abuse counselor. Um, I've been able to help people, like, get over their fears, able, um, watch them on their journey to get sober and stay sober, um, have breakthroughs with people um, like the most heartfelt and satisfying moments for me was when one of my clients or actually I shouldn't say one I had multiple clients tell me you know I've been in therapy for years and you're the first person I feel comfortable telling things to and you actually care about like me as a person I'm not just someone that you want in and out of your office like you actually want to help and this really touches my soul you know like i miss those moments a lot i do um however the work environment i don't miss at all it was a very toxic and hostile work environment which is so sad because you should be there for your employees instead of making it where they think it's a hellhole. Um, and I tried telling corporate, but I guess they don't care. They should care because it affected their clients quite a bit, but whatever. Um, and I'm also really proud of the, like, the type of friend I am. Um, honestly, I've been so spread thin. Like, I, there are text messages from friends that I received, like, two months ago I haven't responded to yet because I just... I try and stay on top of things on my platforms and I just get so tired and I'm like, I need a break from my phone. And then when I get a break from my phone, I'm like, oh, this feels so good and nice. Like, I just keep the break happening. But like, uh, all in all though, I'm a pretty damn great friend. <laughs> Not to toot my own horn, but like, I'm loyal as fuck. I got their back. I'm there whenever they need me. And like... My friend was about to have like a, like going through a mental breakdown and I told her, I said, just give me the word and I will fly across the country and be there for you. Um, so, you know, that type of friend. Is that you? Oh, you're Arabic. That's really cool. Sorry, I can't read your name. I wish I could so I could say it. Ooh. I always say, I always second guess how to say your name, so I'm gonna say it both ways. Smitey and Smitty. I'm so sorry. 1000. You're gonna hate me because you told, you tell me, every, like, not every time, but you tell me sometimes, and I'm like, yes, I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna remember. And then because I don't say it out loud, I don't remember. It's such a bad habit. I'm so sorry, but I love you. <laughs> um, what's your favorite hobby? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, honestly, like, probably making ASMR videos for you guys. Um, I just, I, I find it really enjoyable. <laughs> um, and it's really neat and it's really cool and you guys come up with different things to do and, uh, for customers and stuff and it's interesting. Keeps me on my toes, you know? Um... Are you good at any type of sports? Yes. I am really great at soccer. Um, and dodgeball. I count it as a sport. There was a movie about it. 
Um, I never did archery as a sport, but I was actually pretty good at it when I did it when I was 13. <laughs> I was 14 years ago, oh my gosh. Um, I suck, suck at bowling, but I love it. And I suck at pool, but I love it. <laughs> I know, but you said, am I good at any sport? Um, uh, I'm not bad at basketball, and when I would play softball with my dad and uh, some people, like, I think I was pretty decent at it, but that was when I was real little, so who knows now. What's the longest road trip you took? Hmm. I want to say 13 and a half, 14 hours, and I did it in one day. Maybe it's 15 hours. I'm gonna go with 14 to 15 hour range. Mm -hmm. uh, are you good at reading emotions? Sorry, he like went under the tripod. Oh gosh. Um, hopefully he doesn't knock this over. I'll hold it down. Okay, quick. Um, so yes, I'm really good at reading emotions. Um, through text messages? Mm, that's iffy. But like in person, yeah, I can tell when someone's like done with the conversation, is interested in knowing more, give up, you know, all those types of things. Um, and also like when people are sad, like, I don't know, I've just always been pretty good at reading people. Um, and I'm also really good, I'm pretty proud of myself, of knowing when someone likes somebody else without them like even saying or anything. Like, I'll see someone like talking across the way and I'm like, oh yeah. He or she is definitely interested in the other person. And I'll tell that person, like, really? And I'm like, yeah, they like you. I'm like, I like them too. I'm like, okay, well, do something about it because I'm telling you, they like they like you. They'd be too shy. And then, like, a month or so later, because they were also a shy person, they finally asked them out. Um, do you like being outside more than being inside? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> so, it's like uh, Catch-22. Um... Oh, what is it? What is it? I I do love being outside as long as it's an enjoyable temperature. Um, but sometimes, like, if it's too hot outside, I definitely enjoy being inside, especially if you have, like, good company and everything. Um, for some reason, it's not... I don't want to... Okay, do not step on my computer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. I appreciate you. Oh, nope, 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 no stepping on my computer, thank you. Okay. Um, oh, there you go. I hope you like these questions. Much love. Oh, much love. I do love them. They're awesome. Thank you. Um, Christian Thomas, he said, how is life? Life is pretty good. How's your life going? Um, oh, much love, William Sachs. Um, Lawson, I'm so sorry, but... I don't understand any of this. Let me see if Google Translate will. But I'm pretty sure last time I tried to Google Translate something. Yeah, Lawson, it doesn't show what you're saying in English, so. Sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, uh, Sebastian Sanchez, much love. Mwah. Um, Anna, how was your Easter? Plus, is it okay if I do your dogs, Mika and Buck, on the Instagram page, fan page? Yes, it's okay with me, Anna. Um, and Easter was good. I got to spend time with my parents. They came to visit for the first time, and it was really nice. How was your Easter? Oh, okay. Love you too. Uh, amiga hermosa, tu siempre muy bonita. Saludos. Oh, Archangel Castel, muchas gracias. Uh, uh, mucho amor, mi amigo. Mwah, mwah. Saludos. Mm. Hi. I'm sorry. I know you said your Arabic, but I can't read your name, but hi. <laughs> 
Oh, you love your sky? Is it Danilo? Garcia Nino? Um, I'm glad. Much love. Mwah. Um, oh, Baltimore for life. 34 AK. Il Suervo? I hope that was right. Um, hi dear hearts. Oh, Mohammed Salam. Mwah, mwah. Hearts. Thank you for the compliment. You're so sweet. Um, Oh, <laughs> Claudio, muchas gracias, mi amigo. Uh, mucho amor. Um, uh, La Rem Ruta? Rata? Um, my flower. Lisa, good morning. How are you? I'm well. How are you, dear? How are you? How are you? I hope you're doing well. Um, Jordan 95 HD. Let's see what you have in here. What got you into making ASMR content? Okay, baby. He needs some love right now. You see this? You see this? He's, he's demanding the love. Um, so, uh, my co-creator, he said to me in college, he was the roommate. Well, no, actually, I met him before. He was the roommate of my boyfriend at the time. Um, he's like, you have a really relaxing voice, you should make ASMR. And I thought he was joking. And so, I didn't really take him seriously. And then I went to, uh, I went to, uh, <laughs> sorry, he's biting my hand. Um, oh gosh. I went to work. I was working at TJ Maxx at the time. And several of the customers were like, your voice is so soothing, it's so relaxing, I could listen to it all day. And I'm like, Oh, maybe he wasn't lying. <laughs> so when the next semester started, I was like, oh, hey, like, you weren't joking. Let's go ahead and make a YouTube channel. And, uh, what? It'll be seven years this year? In August slash September, I think the first video went uh, live in September. We will have been an ASMR channel. <laughs> and then you ask, do you believe in ghosts? You know, I don't know. <laughs> I know, so weird. Usually people are like yes or no with that question, but like, I honestly don't know. Um, I used to like say no, but like sometimes like, there have been times where I definitely like have really close, no, no, close call, uh, with head on collisions and it didn't happen. Um, also, and it, ooh, that hurt. Nope, lay down, lay down, come on, lay down. Thank you, good boy. Um, and then there have been times where like, I hear my name, but no one's around, no biting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, but no one's around, so, you know. And hearts, Jordan. Uh, let's see. Ooh, that hurt. Stop. Your baby puppy things. Ow. That's so painful. Why do you hurt me? <gasps> I need to, uh, I need to translate this. Alright. Go get your calm or something. No, not on the computer, please. No. Get your Kong. Get your little baby Kong. Please. I love you so much. Okay, there we go. Um, beautiful. Oh, wait, let me say who it's from. No biting. Manuel Hernandez. Okay, quit. Eat this. Eat your bone. I don't you elbowed yourself in the face. Stop. It wasn't me. It was you. This dog. He's so cute, though. Alright. So you said, Beautiful princess, from what I see, you're more barefoot than with stockings and slippers, and that gives me a lot of courage and sadness that your beautiful and tiny little uh, pieces are barefoot for longer. I've already told you if I were your boyfriend or husband, I would not let you walk anymore barefoot. Also, a woman as beautiful as you should not go barefoot without offending you. And with your permission in there, I send many kisses to your feet. See you later, beautiful princess. Well, I'm gonna have to respond with Spanish because um, I don't know 
how to say that. I need some water. Holy cow, it just got super dry really quick. Mm. <sighs> okay, cool. Um, aw, Aries Candle say gracias por tu ambiliedad. Um, pero no tienes que preocuparte por mi par, uh, yes, pars, yes, yeah. mucho amor quer, querido, querido, amigo. <laughs> Alright, let's see, uh, what they sound like when I say it, because obviously I struggle. A W W W eres tan dulce, gracias por tu amabilidad. Let me take out the all part because that like really messed up how it sounded, my bad. Eres tan dulce. Gracias por tu amabilidad, pero no tienes que preocuparte por mis pies. Mucho amor, querido amigo. Pies, that's what it was. Not bad. All right, let's keep going. Uh, okay. Be gentle, my dear. Um, oh, I don't know what that means, so I need to translate that. Um, oh, uh, Fotis, I'm sorry, but your comment does not translate. Um, Beach Boy said, do you play any instrument or singing talent? I'm tone deaf. Unless I'm in the college showers, which I'm no longer in college, so I guess I'm forever tone deaf now. Um, and I do not play an instrument. I really wish I could play the violin, but I can't play anything. Um, Stuart Matthews. Um, what job do you work at in your town and do you have any siblings? So I no longer share uh, the jobs that I do for certain reasons. And I do have siblings. The number varies depending if you count people that are dead to me. <laughs> um, three siblings and a one that's not blood but dead to me. Um, Drake Wilson, what keeps you motivated to keep doing ASMR videos and also why do you like having really long hair? I love it so much by the way and how did your boyfriend feel when you told him you make ASMR videos when you all first met? And just so you know, I love your videos, I'll forever watch them. I'm here to stay, much love and support, always beautiful Lisa. Always so sweet Drake, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, good question. So what motivates me to keep doing ASMR is when people tell me like it helps them and um, like they send like motivating and supportive comments, encouraging comments, um, and literally people who are like, you've helped with my PTSD, my insomnia, my anxiety, depression, um, anything honestly, like when I'm able to help them, it warms my heart. Like, I love helping people. So, it's really nice. Um, so that's the, what keeps me motivated, honestly. And then, um, I motivate myself also, just because I'm like, okay, I'm like competing with myself. I'm like, alright, let's, let's do this. Let's do this. Like, let's keep up with the daily uploads as much as possible. Breaking new records. So, you know for myself. I know PewDiePie is like, whew, man of uploads. 
Um, oh, I'm glad that you liked my long hair. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, I like having long hair because I look like a boy with short hair. <gasps> no, no, no. No, no, no. Um, so I just personally like my appearance better with long hair. Um, how did your boyfriend feel when you told him you need to ASMR videos? Very good question. Um, <laughs> so I went about it like differently. I just thought I was like, there's something I want to talk to you about when I get a little bit more comfortable with you. And, but don't look me up. <laughs> so then he respected it. He didn't look me up. But he's like, oh, I wonder if she's like a stripper or something. I know. <laughs> he didn't tell me this until after I told him what, uh, what I do. And uh, he's like, that's really cool. He's like, good for you. So he's very supportive and encouraging. And um, he loves giving me ideas. So, it's cool. It's nice, you know? Um, oh, and, like, anytime, like, he has a day off, and I try and, like, take days off with him, so I can spend time with him, he'll be like, if you need to record, go record. Do your thing. And it's so nice. Because um, none of my boyfriends were like that before. Even in college. Like, he, he, was, he was okay with it, but he was like, you're taking time away from me. And I'm like, do chill. <laughs> um, you, oh, I super appreciate you, Drake. Ooh, much love, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gamer UK, aka Chris, you look so amazing, Lisa, with your beautiful voice. You're one in a million. You're just so amazing, Lisa. Absolutely sunny and so special, gorgeous. Much love and my support always. Thank you so much, Chris. Ooh, much love. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, 30th century Homer said, when did your account start? At what year? I think that was 2014. Yeah, because I said it was going to be year seven this year. So 2014. August 2014 was created. I think first upload was in September. Um, Johnny Davis, he said, is it okay for men to cry? 100%. I'm not one of those people who are like, men can't cry. No. Y'all have feelings feel too I said teal. Weird. Y'all have feelings too. Cry it out. It's, not, it's very healthy. Joey, bleh. I was trying to say Joey and then I was trying to say J Star. So, J Star. Also, you guys, if you haven't checked him out yet, J Star ASMR. Go support him. He's fellow We Say ASMR family. And he's awesome. And he does really great ASMR. Um. In a zombie apocalypse, which of these weapons would you choose? You can only pick one. A firearm with limited ammo. Ooh. Fine bow with a respectful amount of arrows. A katana. What would you pick and why? Probably the katana, honestly. Because that's the only thing that wouldn't be limited, you know? Otherwise, after the arrows go out and the ammo, then I'm a pretty good shot with guns, but sometimes I miss, and those things be, like, moving on quicker. This is a pillow. You do not chew on pillows. Um, sometimes I miss, you know? Uh-uh. Nope. 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 <sighs> no. 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 Stop it. Decapitate them. Wait, you have ruined this pillow enough. 
Ow! You guys saw that, right? Human abuse from an animal. <laughs> okay, don't make me put you up. Don't make me do it. Good boy. Um, so yeah, I'll go with the katana. Nope. Um, cold weather or warm weather? Cold weather, 100%. Too, too warm weather makes me sick. Um, ooh. What? What? Ah. You're too smart for your own good. Why does YouTube not let me see? Okay, there we go. Figured it out. Last question. I'm getting more and more into psychology these days. What do you think are some things that may cause someone to be narcissists? For example, I think one thing is um, they're used to people coddling them. Um, I think that I love psychology, as you know. I think that is a very good reason for like some people becoming um, narcissists. I know some people who weren't coddled in their life and they're narcissists. Um, so it's like different for different people. Like a lot of things are for people. So I'm gonna say like, I completely agree with you. Some people, definitely the coddling. Um, pillow versus dog. <laughs> Um, or human versus dog, or human versus <sighs> human and pillow versus dog. <laughs> um, another thing I think is like they create this mindset where they're people pleasers. Stop it! Stop! Let go! Let go! Let go! They're people pleasers, so they're thinking in their heads like, "Oh, I'm doing all these things for people." all of these things for people and they don't like respect that I'm doing this they don't understand and then anything that they do wrong is suddenly not wrong and <laughs> um, you're the one who's in the wrong and <sighs> I wish I knew where they kept the peanut butter I have no idea because I would put peanut butter in okay Give me one moment, please. I found the peanut butter to put in the cone, so should have a few more bits. But yeah, I think different things make people narcissists. But it's also like an inflated ego type thing that they can do no wrong. John Way, is it Cozzy? I hope it is. That's how I've been saying it in my head this whole time. Gorgeous as always, such a sweetie pie, and you're the most beautiful young lady that I've ever seen, and you're the best thing that's ever happened to me. It's a privilege to be here with you. I'll keep supporting you always, and I appreciate you so much. John, you're so, so sweet. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> you're so, so sweet. Much, much love, dear. I appreciate you. Um, Brandon. What are your three favorite video games? Honestly, I don't know. But I will say Bioshock is really good. Um, old school games. I don't know, it's just so hard. Like I like I love video games. Very competitive person, but in a good way. Eugene, um, good evening from Brunswick. County, um, how are you and your family, friends doing tonight, beautiful girl? We're doing pretty well. Thank you, Eugene. I hope you and your father and your mother are doing well and your friends. Um, I hope your dad is out of the hospital. I've been praying for him. Um, he said, thank you for smiling, for your smiling face and pretty kisses. You're a beautiful girl every day. Love you, my good friend, beautiful girl. We say smile. You always look beautiful, pretty girl every day. Um... You always look beautiful, girl, at your best. Oh, thank you so much, Eugene. Thank you, thank you. Mm, much love. Sorry, I have Cheetos in my hand. John Reganon. I'm 27. Oh, let's see.
Kit Boardman said, oh, by the way, if you haven't, he has a YouTube channel. Go check him out. He does a variety of stuff. Reviews. Um, did mukbang. So, you know, you know, if you like it, go check it out. Um, and it's probably Lisa's my family. So we support the Lisa's for my family. Sorry. <laughs> He said, hi Lisa, how are you? I know why ASMR is so important for helping me feel better when my life is getting quite overwhelmed and frustrated due to my autism on my daily basis. Especially using my headphones to make me feel sleepy like a kind of bedtime story. That's really cool. We barely do have our similarities between your mental health and my autism, but it was a sweet thing to support and caring for each other as we become special friends. I completely agree, Kit. Um, because you always do feel proud of me for producing latest videos on my YouTube channel and also achieve my comprehensive influences. I do also love your ASMR videos. It's seemingly quite entertaining for me to watch. Much love to my dear, wonderful friend. Oh, thanks so much, Kit. You're so, so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah, 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 mwah. I always appreciate your support. I wonder if I should have not let him take the calm on couch. But he's been good, so. Not your, but much love, Kit. Mm. Um. I hope I pronounce this right. Uh, Maximiliano. Adu? Adu? Are you worried that the Safe Tech Act might censor ASMR content entirely? So, that's a really good. Smart question. Unfortunately, I don't quite fully understand the Safe Tech Act, so I can't properly um, put my opinion on the Safe Tech Act. What I can put my opinion on is censorship. Um, I think personally, the censor cens mm, censorship that I've been already dealing with from YouTube from uh, taking down my thumbnails because I do a side profile of me and my shorts or my leggings. I'm fully clothed and I'm just doing a side profile of my leggings because I'm doing a jean or legging scratching video. Like, that's what the video is about. And that gets taken down. Like, that's stupid. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just beyond stupid to me. Um, me doing my hair gets age restricted because my feet are in it stupid people have feet the majority of people have feet and guess what we don't have to censor our feet when we're out in public it's out and about it's so stupid so um i think censorship in that aspect is ridiculous um but censorship on showing like if you watch Don't Fuck With Cats on Netflix, yeah, that shouldn't have been out there for the world to see. Someone killing cats and torturing them. Shouldn't be on platforms. It's saying that's okay. Me having limbs? Stupid, man. So stupid to censor it. But, you know. Yeah, people tricking and G-strings on YouTube, and that's okay. The sprinkles falling off their ass. That's okay. But God forbid, I have the jeans, jeans, leggings, shorts on, side profile, or show my feet, and it's the end of the world. Terry, 30, have you seen the Mortal Kombat movie and have you ever played any sports in the past? Thank you, Lisa, much love. Terry, it's always so nice to see you. Um, I did watch the Mortal Kombat movie. I liked it. I really liked it. Um, I feel like there could have been aspects, more aspects of something. I don't quite remember what it was. Maybe more of the story? I don't remember, really. Um, or more of understanding of, like, the main character. But I liked the movie overall. And I've played soccer in the past. What about you? Mm. Francisco. 
Velasquez. I hope I said that right. Sorry if I said it wrong. Velasquez. Um, if you change something in your life, what will it be? It's very deep. Very, very deep. Um, well, it's hard because everything that's happened has led me to where I am today. And if I change something in my life, I don't know where I'd be. And I would love to say, I would love to have my mom back, my grandfather back, my best friend back. Um, all my family members who have died back. But if you mess up the timeline, it changes everything. And even though what I've been through was really hard, it helps me be able to help people who've been through the same thing. So, I don't think I would change anything, which is, I hope people don't give me a hard time for that, for saying that. Because I shouldn't be doing one, I guess. It's hard. Still, I miss them, but. No. Sorry if I pronounced your name wrong, but I'm gonna do my best. DeAndre Gilmore. If you had to pick, um, would you choose one hundred thousand dollars and one hundred random people lose their life, or one hundred million dollars and one random person you know and love dies? Um. Even if no money was involved, unfortunately, <laughs> I would, I would probably choose the one random person I know love. No one love dies. Um, because if it's a hundred random people, that's a hundred random families and friends and all the people that they know get affected. That sucks. That's a tough question, mister. Aw, oh, thank you, Ackman. Sorry, I have Cheeto fingers. <laughs> Glad you think I'm pretty or beautiful. Juan del Angel Hurtado? Acosta? Are you married? No, but I'm in a serious relationship. Brat man, brat. I'll get my questions in soon, Lisa. Sounds good. Mm. Jonathan Bolt. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen? Um, good question. I have to think about this one. Hmm. Sorry, I can't look at the camera because it's going to make me stop thinking. So I, <laughs> I need to like look at like a blank screen. Um, I guess you have ever seen. Shoot. This is really hard, y'all. Um. I can't really think of it. Probably some type of animal. But I'll just tell you the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. I've worked retail and adult humans and even kids don't seem <coughs> sorry to know how to use the toilet while they're shopping. Pooping down the aisles, yes, down the aisles in TJ Maxx, leaving turds in the aisle for us to find. Someone tried on a pair of jeans and left poop in the jeans smeared. Someone else left the used tampon in a pocket of the jeans and another person who tried on the jeans found the used tampon and threw up. So, yeah, that's pretty weird. <laughs> mm. 
Cinematic Studios. I remember your name, but I don't remember if you like your name being out there, so I'm just going to respect that. It's a good question. Um, I'm a pretty open book, to be quite honest. Um, it's really hard for me to be uncomfortable. Um, like if it's friends, I can literally talk about anything with them. Anything. Um, Okay, that's a really cool effect. I think I'm gonna do that for a video. <laughs> Sorry. Um, hmm. But if it's gonna be like some stranger, no, don't do it. Be a good boy. Then I'd probably say like bodily like functions. Hmm. Or sex life, because. Uh, when I worked in car sales, uh, there was a, cus a random customer who liked telling me what I should find in a man for sexual pleasure and uh, what they should make me do and what he would do to me even though he was married with daughters that were almost my age. Um, Gilberto Suarez? Um, Linda Malaviloso? Sorry, I definitely butchered that. Which is Cassius? Um, Hosman Elmer. I hope I said that right. Much love. Thank you. Um, is it Simone or is it Simon? I think it's Simone. Uh, Reed. I know you've been a subscriber for a while. Just, I don't, uh, I don't remember how to properly say your name. Don't do it. No, no. You had a peanut butter Kong. You don't need Cheeto packages. Would you ever do an alien abduction medical esque role play? I'm just curious. You're awesome, Lisa. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I did that alien role play, and I mean, I did take off your head. So does that count? Um. Ah. Oh. Merci beaucoup, Boo Bakar. I hope I said your name right. Um, Taz Nuts 99. Do I like ballet flats? Um, I never wear them. I used to want to be in ballet, but my stepmom was like, you have to call to set up for your classes. And I was only seven at the time, and phone calls terrified me. But I said, no, never mind, I'll forget about it. Um, Erie Lippert. I feel like you told me, I hope I said it right. I feel like you might have told me to say it in a different way, but I hope not. Hey Lisa, what's your favorite color and why? Um, blue is my favorite color. I really like cyan blue. Um, why? I don't know. It's just something that really like, is so vibrant and beautiful about it, you know? This is plastic. You don't eat plastic. No. Oh, uh, Anna, Alza, Alza here? Alza here? Um, thanks to the rails. Mwah. Oh, Monahan, Popoli. Um, thank you. I'm glad you think it's super. Raymond Ortega. I'm a fan of watching 80s movies. If there's one movie from the 1980s that you like, what would it be? Um, man, that's hard because I lived a very sheltered life, like super sheltered. So I wasn't really allowed to watch movies a lot. Um, so let me Google real quick popular 80s movies because I don't know. Oh, who's your boy? Who's your boy? Um, <gasps> just because I know this one. Um, but I can't remember what it's called. Oh, The Goonies was good. Goonies, 
Goonies was really good. Um, I finally watched Ferris Bueller's Day Off recently, like a few months ago. That was good. Um, I think I've seen most of Pretty in Pink and I think I liked it. It was longer than when I was allowed to be able to watch uh, movies. Ooh, Grease is good too. I like Grease a lot. Um, I don't remember what this movie is called, and for some reason it's not popping up. But I mean, it shows the it shows the movie picture. But it's a kid who has the flying dog that takes him to like different worlds. I like that movie too. Um, what about you? It says Fresh Free. Stop, stop. My question is that what inspired you to create a Patreon and or Elite fans? Good question. Um, so we created a Patreon because um, so there were so many requests for me to do feed videos. Like, it was overwhelming. And um, it wouldn't, like, I couldn't do other requests at the time because all the requests were literally, like, just, uh, feet videos, feet videos, feet videos, and then every once in a while, like, um, something else, but it would just be overwhelmed with that. And then, um, the OnlyFans, OnlyFans platform, like, people were like, oh, great OnlyFans, 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 and I used to be closed-minded and think that OnlyFans is for, like, porn and, um, nudity and then uh, uh, my co-creator is like, no, OnlyFans is for the content you want want it to be. So we put our we started putting our Patreon videos onto OnlyFans, and then when I created new videos for Patreon, it would also go on OnlyFans. So hence why I have Patreon and OnlyFans. And are you ever planning to make your videos on Patreon and or OnlyFans free to the public? As in free to those who probably don't have enough funds to afford this afford the subscription. Um, no, and it's nothing against it, it's just like, you know, it, this is how I, it's not my, like, it's not my only job, but it helps me have a living, you know, and it wouldn't, all, like, to me also, it wouldn't be fair to the people, hey, stop, sorry, but in my mind, um, I wouldn't think it'd be fair for other people who've paid the amount, you know, and then suddenly it's like free. Um, yeah, because I know personally, like, I'd feel pretty gypped if that happened. Um, Renald H. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I hope I said it right. Um, will you let your beautiful hair grow even longer than it already is? Oh, thank you, Renal. Thank you, my husband. Cool. Um, I did get it trimmed a few months ago. I'll let it grow some more, and then I will um, trim it about three inches and then let it grow again. I like having long hair. Um, Footboy460, do you have an all-time favorite book or author? Good question. Good question. Um, gosh. I have really bad memory, like super bad. So unfortunately, I can't think of like favorite book or author, but I will say like when I was a kid, R.L. Stein for sure was like, I'd only read R.L. Stein until I was forced to start reading other books. Um, James Patterson is really good. I really like his stuff. And so I'm reading Criss Cross right now. Um, don't remember the author, but God's Spy was also a really good book. It's about like a serial killer, like castrating priests. Yeah. What about you? Um, 18, 18 talk, I think. Um, love you, Lisa. Oh, much love. Mm. Um, John. Dwyer, did you have a nice Easter with your family? I did, John. Thank you. Did you? Um, Crit 
Bamra, do you sell worn tights or heels? Email me at lisasmart23 at gmail.com and find out. Um, Alvaro Paradis? Paradis? I hope. Um, oh, hola, mi amigo. Uh, uh, muchas gracias. Uh, mucho amor. Um, bendiciones. Bendiciones? I said that right? Mm -hmm. Oh, Eugene, how did you be, how did you get to be such a beautiful girl? You're always beautiful looking. Thanks, Eugene. Um, honestly, I guess from my parents, because people say I look like a perfect mixture of them, so. I guess I got lucky. Thank you. <laughs> um, Patricio. Rossi. Ah, gracias. Thank you. Mwah. Greetings from America. Retro fan 81. What does ASMR stand for? Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. Mohamed Milano. Milano? Much love. Um, Lucas Santin. Much love. Um, Jonah. Camarillo. Um, it will be seven years in either August or September. And let's see. Uh, Bear Down 581 or 891. Have you considered getting a green screen for any future videos? I actually bought a green screen a few months ago. Um, I haven't put it up yet. I have to like make sure the light. I have perfect lighting so it doesn't ruin the thing. Um, I do have lights up on my wish list if anyone wants to help. Uh, the lights that someone did buy me helped a lot with like facial but uh, my co-creator says that I probably need a big light to make sure there's no shadows that are being casted on the green screen. Um, that's a good, good question. New York. Ooh, the Joker face. Uh, will you make more karate videos? Uh, I'm sure there will be more karate guestings in the future. Nick Warner. Question for beautiful Lisa. Can you please make a video on what would happen if someone cheats on you? Your videos by watching videos from another ace artist. Um, oh, what? If someone cheats on your videos by watching videos from another ace artist. Um, What do you mean, uh, if someone would cheat on my videos? Or do you mean, like, I catch somebody cheating in my videos? Or do you mean someone, like, stealing my content? Or do you mean, like, someone copying exactly what I do? I'm sorry. My brain is just, it takes it all different ways, so if you can uh, clarify, I'll be glad to answer. Carlitos. Uh, Princess, I'd like to ask you maybe more, more than one question, but I understand I'm not the only one, so it is only one simple question. Oh, Carly Joss, feel free to um, ask me more questions. Obvious, er, not obviously, but I won't be get, getting through all of this tonight. I think I have over 300 or 500 questions uh, to do, so yeah, feel free to go ahead and ask me one. But make sure to do it on the original video, not on this one. Um, uh, who do you admire, whoever you have in mind, a public person, family, etc., and why? Good question. Um, man. Who do I admire? I admire the underdogs. In general. The people who everyone is like, meh. They don't think much of them. And then, but I do. I see good in people. I see their potential. 
and the underdogs who <sighs> grit their teeth, right? Grin? No, not grit, but grit their teeth, at least, right? <sighs> and move forward and don't let people's perspective of them change how they are. I respect that a lot. Um, because too many people allow the perspectives and views of others to keep them down. And then they do a self-fulfilling prophecy. They're like, oh, these people think, like, I'm not good enough. So maybe I'm not good enough. But then there's the people who are like, oh, you say I'm not good enough? Let me prove you wrong. And they do. And I respect that so much. I see you. Mm-hmm. I am. I see you. Good question. Oh, Skull13, thank you. Hi, dear. Um, Lawson, I'm sorry, but your comments don't translate. Stereo dryer leaves his brain. Oh, I'm dying. <laughs> um, Mike Temple, question one. Do you think melatonin is a good sleep remedy? Yes, because it's natural. It's, uh, you naturally make melatonin, so I think it's good. Uh, question two, do you have any secrets to sleep? Um, honestly, I feel really good about falling asleep. It's really rare if I can't. And that's either because, like, my body's super wide awake. Um, or I have some things on my mind that I need to, like, think through. So if it's something on my mind, I just write it out. Or I get on my phone and open up a Google Docs and I type up whatever's on my mind. I just type freely and at the end I'll like read it. I'm like, dang, that was in my mind? I'm deep. So, yeah. Um, and then sometimes I will use like uh, melatonin and knock me out if I know that I'm going to have trouble sleeping. Um, question three, how long do you plan to do YouTube videos? Oh, good question. I plan to do YouTube videos as long as YouTube will have me. But... We all know YouTube can be a little sometimes. I didn't say that. That was uh, the dog. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I think of YouTube. But no, I do plan to create content for you guys. For as long as YouTube will have me, and for as long as you guys want me. <laughs> um, Michael Green, do you sell your used socks? Email me at lisaasmart23 at gmail.com. Uh, email is in the description. Oh, so sorry, Jarrell. I did ask you if you're okay with me saying your name. You said yes. Mama, stay lovely. Stay lovely, dear. Mm -hmm. Much love. So sweet, so sweet, so sweet. Um, Jay. Jay, is it Kim Doc? I hope it's just Kim Doc. Sorry if I said it wrong. Um, oh please, a non Twitch shoe drop, but love, love, love your videos and art. Um, let me just, I can't show it, but I'll do the shoe drop right now. Did you hear it? <laughs> I'll have to do another one for you guys. Uh, YouTube. Um, Zach, Zach Yeeves. Hopefully, I said your last name right. Hi, beautiful. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. <laughs> um, Fahad Shah. I hope I said that right. Lisa, you're wonderful and great. Which country are you from? Oh, thank you. Um, the United States. Thank you. All glory to the Father. What's your favorite? song and TV show. I believe you are Jason, if I remember correctly. And are you 100% positive you're not an angel? You're too kind. Um, oh yeah, let me do the first one. Um, favorite song and TV show? Song? It just depends on the mood that I'm in. Um, when I am like really... Hi. When I'm like really hurt and sad, I really like Drown, uh, the cover of 
Bring Me the Horizon originally did it, but I like the Faith Marie cover. She's a beautiful voice. Um, Ethel Roman told me a song is like Law Firm Cars, Cars, Speeding um, song. I, I honestly can't remember the song, but that one like really got me. Um, I like Banner's Start a Riot. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Um, always cover your cough. That was my bad. Um, let's see. When I'm angry, like really angry, like Lincoln Park or um, Puddle of Mud or um, Can You Feel My Heart by Bring Me the Horizon. Um, Kill Shot by Dax and Gotham by Dax is really good. NF is really good. I don't know, that's really hard, sorry. TV show. Um, I really love Supernatural, but there's like, there's two, minimum two seasons that I was just like, dude, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Um, but I finished it through and through. And yeah, I don't think Kevin H will be so sweet. <laughs> And are you a far off descendant of Rapunzel and still carry a bit of sunshine in your smile? So kind, so kind. Maybe I am. Much love, dear. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to drop it. Um. Okay. Koizy, thank you so much for telling me how to pronounce your name. I appreciate that. Um. What do you think about joining the Babs? If not, look it up. I do need to look it up because I don't know what that is. Oops. Like it, Urban Dictionary finally pulled up on the scroll. Um, other stuff was like different things that didn't make sense, but it's a community of boss ass bitches who work together to uplift and empower other like minded babs. I love it. That'd be so awesome. Um, I try and uplift others all the time, so that'd be uh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. I hope I say your name right, but. Uh, Herobo Leptin? You say you're so adorable. You're the adorable one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mwah. And also, Koizy, thanks for saying that. So, so, so sweet. Um, Para Marco. Hey Lisa, my question is, what do you do for a living? Is ASMR your full-time job? Um, I mean, I do ASMR as a job, but I do some other things as a job as well. Um, unfortunately, I can no longer discuss my jobs, um, because of previous things that have happened, but, you know, live and you learn. Second question, this question is a bit political, um, do you think USA should withdraw their military from Afghanistan? It has been almost 20 years, US military in Afghanistan and the war is still going on, so do you think... They should be withdrawn or not. Um, so my understanding of it is we're not fully like in war. Um, it's more of a we're there to help repair um, some of the places. I think build schools even. Um, don't shoot me if I'm wrong. But from what I gather, if we pull out, innocent civilians are going to, um, I don't know if perish is the right word, but like 
be negatively impacted because we're there to like protect them and um, help get them back up and we're building back some of the buildings and everything and if we just leave that wouldn't happen so um but like my understanding like i said i don't think we're really in a war anymore i think we're just making sure everyone there is going to be okay and that um they're what are you doing so odd um oh crap my son's about to die um bad things don't happen sorry um jared woodard sorry if i said your name wrong i hope i said it right how are your dogs doing have you been um have you been walking them from jared um they're doing okay buck is, can no longer do the stairs and it's really sad because then he's the only one downstairs and we don't have a bedroom downstairs so it hurts my heart um, and he's completely blind in one eye and he's going blind, um, the other eye. So he runs into the walls and into the house and try to help not, but then he like pulls and like, I feel bad for like trying to guide him out of that way. But overall, like, you know, they're doing well for their ages and everything. And I do take them on walks. Um, 8.30 OT6. You said, do I play any RPGs? Now, I'm so bad with, like, remembering RPGs, but I know that, I'm going to say I know that, and then you guys are going to be like, no, it's not Lisa, but I'm pretty sure COD is an RPG, and, like, I like playing it with people, but I suck at it. It's so bad. So, I'm going to Google RPG games, and I will tell you. Um, oh wait, maybe it's not Todd. Wow. Let's see. Why are you eating the plastic bag? Stop it. Um, let's see. Oh! Raid. I play Raid Shadow Legends. Try to get you guys to join my clan. Um... I don't even know if this is right, it's just this. Alright, so, I think, maybe? Sorry if I sucked with that answer, my bad. Um, Dr. Pepper Kev, what is your favorite kind of ASMR? Um, I really like water sounds like rain, thunderstorms, uh, I love accelerating my car and like feeling myself push back against the seat. Um, train sounds. I even like bicycle sounds. So yeah. What about you? Megatron Merc. Does ASMR help you relax? Um, I personally don't look it up on YouTube. Um, I mean, I will every once in a while just to support other people. Um, because I think it's important to support people. Um, but, and that's why you'll see me on like random ASMR videos like every once in a while and I, I do different people and like I might only like do the video like once or twice or whatever but it's just because I'm trying to support so many people you know I'm trying to do a splash of everybody um but honestly I and honestly I just don't really have time to watch videos unfortunately I wish I did I wish I did I just don't I keep myself really busy, um, but I allow myself to relax when I experience it in real life, like thunderstorms or when I'm driving and everything like that. Um, two, what's one major thing you would change in your life? Um, probably my mood swings um, with people who are like family, but mainly feared man. Um, oh shoot, I should probably charge my phone just because he doesn't deserve it but he gets the brunt of it because um he handles me and unfortunately like he doesn't tell me to stop <laughs> and i've told him i said you know like you just need to like sit me down and be like hey like i'm talking to you in a 
very civil and nice manner. I haven't done anything to make you be angry. So <laughs> can you please like, you know, be civil back? Um, Cause I can be short tempered, hot tempered, the littlest thing can like blow me off. But it's only with people I'm in relationships with or I'm family with because they're the ones who know what like, ticks me off, you know? Um, and last question, what's your feeling on death? Well, I had a lot of experience with death. Um, it's affected my life a lot. Um, death terrifies me. I don't ever want to die. It causes me to almost black out when I'm thinking about it by myself. But, uh, I don't know. Death sucks, I guess. <laughs> Good questions, by the way. Blood bottler, giant, ooh. Your videos are awesome. How do you feel about playing the tiny in one of your videos? Oh, thank you. I actually tested it out and I did a uh, giant tutor's tiny ASMR role play, I think. Um, seems like a lot of people don't like when I'm a tiny, but it was cool to like do a different perspective, I think. Lawson, I'm sorry, I can't understand what you're saying. Swiss ASMR. Barbara, how are you, dear? It's always so good to see you in the comments section. You're such a sweet person. If you guys haven't, go check her out. She's so, so sweet. Swiss ASMR. Um, a Q&A is always fun. What do you do in real life? Um, and how old are you? How many languages do you speak? Love you, Lisa. Barbara, you're so cute. Um, unfortunately, I can't get into like what I do in real life just because I've experienced repercussions for being so open. Um, I'm 27. I'll be 28 next month. And I speak one language. I know very, very little Spanish and even littler amounts of French. Um, I know you speak at least Russian and English. What else can you speak? Can you speak other languages? And how old are you? I'm curious. And much, much love, Barbara. You're so, so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, the Oreo. Okay, I got two. Do you like Pokemon? I do. But the original Pokemon. Oh gosh, the kitty and the dog are about to fight. Leave the kitty alone. And what is your favorite for each generation? So, ooh, okay, you're going to move the camera? Okay, okay, okay. My top um, Pokemon is Charmander. I haven't watched Pokemon in a long time. I used to play in the um, game on my computer in college but my all-time favorite is Charmander um stubborn but loyal and also because my mom that's the only thing I le have left that my mom gave me is a three foot stuffed Charmander um let's see Smithsonian JJ do you play with your shoes normally or do you only do it for ASMR um, so, I mean, like kicking them off, I sometimes kick them off, um, but I like to touch shoes because I like to feel like the different textures they have, especially when they're soft, I think it's cool. Um, uh, Morciano Leonardo, ciao bella, uh, Oh, I need to translate this for one second. Let's see. Oop. Try not to like. Yeah, you. You do that. You do that. Oh, whoops. Maybe Ray Shadow Legends wasn't an RPG, and it was just saying it was because it took me to a different commercial or er, page, and I didn't realize that. Um, okay, so it kind of translated a little bit. 
um, but not fully Morciano. So, um, lo siento, hablo poco español. Um, let's see what I can come up with over here. Mi allegro. Or, estoy contento de que te gustan mi videos. Videos. Okay, I'll speak slow. Estoy contento de que te gusten mis videos. Alright, much love, much love more. Um, Stardust Coping. I hope I said that right. Why are you so angelic and always make me smile? Because of your presence and smiling face. Oh, Stardust, you're so, so sweet. Mm. I'm glad that I can do that for you. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. It's almost to his bedtime. Um, William Boykin, what shoe size do you wear? Eight, eight and a half, depending. Um, Pilzo, how'd you get into ASMR? What's your shoe game like? Oh, if I was home, I would definitely show you what my shoe game was like. Um, honestly, I used to only own one or two pairs of shoes, but then, like, a lot of people like the shoe way so much, so I started getting more and more shoes. Um, so I'll tell you what I have. I have Vans, I have Converse, I have, um, my heeled boots, the ones I call hooker boots, um, open-toed brown heels, open-toed black small heels, um, two pairs of flats, leather and blue denim, um, Adidas, Nike, sneakers, the sneakers, um, a different pair of boots with a slight heel to them, another open toed, like, wedge sandal heel? Not sure what you would call it. But yeah. And on to ASMR, like I said earlier, because my co-creator was like, you have a soothing voice. And then I thought he was joking. Other people were like, you have a soothing voice. And I was like, oh, let's create a video or a channel if you actually were being serious. And here we are today. All right, guys, we're at a minute and a half. Um, a minute and a half. Oh my gosh, an hour and a half, basically. Um, so I am going, oh wait, are we like really close to the top? Pure, my, pure Mickey hearts. Um, Mike Bryant, have you ever been asked it? Ooh. No. <laughs> uh, never. I'm not quite a rebel. Hi, Mike Stello, or is it Solo? I don't know. Mark White, do you smoke? If you do, would you ever consider doing a video where you smoke while wearing satin clothes? If not, just a satin video would be great. Love you. Um, I do not smoke. Never smoked a cigarette in my life. And if you want to purchase that custom of a satin video... Oh, kitty! No, 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 no. You have a cat scratch thing over there. Not on the chair. Kitty. Kitty, no. No. Goodness gracious. Um, oh, no, drop it, drop it, take that instead. Ooh, I'm about to go down over there. That's the kitty. Alright, this is intense. No, 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 bring it here. Good boy. Oh. Put this plastic bag in. Um, but yeah. Email me at lisaysmart23 at gmail.com if you want that satin video. Much love. I'll use the subject line as uh, custom inquiry. Bon noite. Noite. Uh, van van. Uh, gracias. Mwah. Hi, Brian Wolf. How are you? Jonathan Dixon. Good evening, honey, and good night, honey. And I love you and I miss you too. Oh, uh, much love. Miss you. Um, Christian Android. 
question. Would you make more martial arts videos, please? Um, if someone wants to purchase that custom shirt, hey, quit, 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 quit. Open, open, drop it, drop it. Good boy. Quit, quit, do it. <sighs> he moves fast. I'm so close, you guys. I'm so close. So close. Um, kind of. Alright, I think I will stop there and then I'll make a part two sometime. Um, okay, Eric Plotz. Hope I said that right. What do you think about men wearing garments? Would you ever date a guy who wore them? Um, doesn't bother me. I think we're in a day and age where people can do what they want. Um, I mean, I feel like every guy that I have met well, I shouldn't say every guy. I should I should say I I know quite a lot of guys who like after we get really comfortable with each other they either ask to wear something or I end up seeing pictures of them wearing like female stuff. So I think it's a very common thing. Grace Woods, have you ever kicked a guy where it hurts? Tell us all about it. Yes. <laughs> um, I kicked my stepdad where it hurts. Twice. Um, one time was after he did something I didn't like, or he opened the bathroom door when my mom was in the bath because she asked me to get him a towel, get her a towel. So I just thought like he shouldn't be the one who did it, but he did. Or he opened the door. I don't know if he actually got her a towel. I don't remember, but I kicked him in the balls for doing that. And he responded by throwing me across the room, head hitting the wall and my back landing on the plug with the metal prongs up. Um, I accidentally hit, oh wait, and then I did it one more time to him, I think, after my mom passed away. I called him a deep betrayer because I thought that was like worse than betrayer. Because I thought like anything with D-E in the front of it was like bad. <sighs> Antonio Mendoza Almeida Hearts. Um, hearts out to breathe. I them. Don't you do it. Um, if you found a squishable, moldable, malleable, tiny, what would you do with him? How do you mind? If it didn't hurt him, I would squish him. But if it did, I would just be his friend. Um, Earthyman126, what is your favorite food? Ooh, I love all good food. As long as it's good, I love it, honestly. Um, love great sushi. Um, I love barbecue. I love sweet potato casserole. I love sweets. All the good stuff. Hi, Mohammed. How are you? Mohammed Saad? Uh, 9008? I don't know, bro. Gusio? Hey, can I have two of them? First is, how's your day? Hope it's okay. Yeah, my day is doing pretty good. How's yours? Second, would you rather jump really high and from any high um, and don't take any damage or hold your breath for 30 minutes or longer if you practice? Sorry if it's dumb, but at least it's not a nasty question. <laughs> no, it's not dumb. It's interesting. Something like really new and creative. Um, hmm. I feel like I'd rather hold my breath for 30 minutes. Or longer because that way I could like go under underwater and not have to worry about it you know and just snorkel or scuba dive and just not have the feeling of claustrophobia in case like something happens to my equipment um let's see I need to translate this so Google translate Oh, you're so sweet. Um, Edward, 
Eduardo me gusta la del bendonio monzón I hope I said that right sorry if I said that wrong um Medito, uh, si tan solo tu veria la edusión. Let's see how horribly I just said that. Eres tan dulce. Estaré feliz de ser tu médico si tan solo tuviera la educación. Not too bad. Um, Neil Collins, I am 27, I'm 28. Austin, LS3, hey Lisa, I have three questions for you. Um, who or what inspired you to start doing ASMR? My co-creator. And do you see yourself going further with ASMR stuff over into Lewis land? Oop, sorry. Um, honestly, lewd stuff is so subjective. Okay, I see you, kitty. Hopefully you don't attack my tripod. Um, but... then it's okay but um I don't do nudity if that's what you mean and what is your dream car Ooh. um I mean I just want a Bugatti just so I can go super super fast but the um oh gosh Stop it. I'm gonna get your eyeballs scratched out my cat does not like you you pissed off that cat um, stop, stop, stop. The 9 is also really cool. Simply Star. Oh, I miss you, Simply Star. When are you doing ASMR again? Um, what's your favorite time of year? This has already been asked. What's your favorite holiday? Hope you're doing well. Lisa, much love. Favorite time of year? Uh, probably fall or winter, depending. I really love fall because the leaves changing. I like winter because of the pretty snow when it's actually like a pretty snow. Um, holiday? I don't really have a favorite holiday. And I hope you're doing well too, dear. Much love. Miss you. Arkham, Arkham's Nightwing 2. If you're shrunk and someone unknowingly swallowed you, how would you get out of them or let them know you're trapped inside their body? I'd probably crawl up through their mouth and I would try and like scratch my way and beat them so they know it's there. Good question. Um, well... Bespectaculos of the Nico. Um, muchas gracias. Mucho amor. Danny Spreadborough. You're very pretty, I reckon. Don't change being you, sweetie. Oh, Danny, you're so sweet. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Brady Mill Brack Hearts. And Brian Colgado Glimara. I do have a boyfriend. Um, Charlie Medeiros, I'm sorry, Medeiros? Sorry if I mispronounced it, Charlie. Hearts. Um, hi, that guy, so many uh, ASMR videos because my co-creator told me that my voice is relaxing and other people said it, so I was like, okay, let's do it. Um, Kota, sorry if I said that wrong, I hope I said it right, one, two, two, five. How do you get your skin to look so flawless? Honestly, I don't do anything. Um, I've just been very fortunate and blessed to have very good skin. Um, and I don't really wear... Ooh! That cat literally attacked the dog. Um, I don't wear makeup. So, um, and if I do, it's just usually mascara. Um, and sometimes lipstick. So, I don't do anything that like clogs my face or anything that would cause a bad reaction. Tim Berryman, you are so sweet. I want to date. <laughs> I'm already taken, Tim, but thank you. Uh, Martel Cordona, hearts. Uh, Besri Sharon Ha, huh? let me see. Um, I don't 
We like do half English and half not, so kind of confused. That cat likes eating you up, dog. Oh, I did not know. Ooh, whew. That was Albanian. Interesting. Um, Sadiq Dalla. Almighty Allah, all your dreams and desire may come true, and every success shakes your hands. That is my wish for you across the miles between Dubai and me. Thank you. You're so, so sweet. Mwah. Much love, and I wish the same for you. Thank you. It's so kind. Ah, oh, Freddy Fernandez. Muchas gracias. Mwah. Mucho amor. Dark Nasty. And what's so special about Among Us, and why is everyone playing it? Um... I personally play it because I think it's a great way for me to play with viewers on stream and it's just easier because um, people like to play you know I personally I rather play with somebody than watch them play a game because um, it doesn't keep my attention so that's why I like to do like games that have multiple people who can play um Steve Colette 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 mm -hmm. Lovely idea of asking questions. You're so entertaining. I really enjoy watching your videos. Question is two parts. Are you a pretty good fighter in real life or does it just look that way in your videos? Um, oh, sorry. So it just like depends. Honestly, like I don't really get into fights. When I did in school, the very few like times that I did, I made the guys cry. Um, but... I haven't had to like fight anybody since. I don't want to fight people. Um, but I think I could defend myself if needed. Like, you know, the adrenaline, it's a thing. Question, uh, part two, have you ever beaten anyone up in your life and have you ever fought a sister or a friend? Hope these questions are okay. Yeah, the questions are fine. Um, so let me let him out real quick though. Um, so no, I've never beaten up my sister or a friend. I get along with my friends really well. We don't really fight. Um, but I did get two black eyes from my friend, but that's a different story. <laughs> we weren't fighting. It was on accident. Kind of. It was on accident. Um, but otherwise. No, never a sister or friend, just, uh, just rude ass people who needed to get hit <laughs> to learn a lesson. Hi, Siria Kun, hi. It's funny, I kicked one guy in the stomach really bad and he started crying and he, uh, told our math teacher, and our math teacher was like, you probably deserved it. <laughs> Freddy Fernandez. Ah, uh, muchas gracias, un abrazo. Mucho amor. Um, Brandon, how many hours a night do you wear your retainer? Oh, uh, I probably only wear my retainer like once a week, to be honest. Twice if I'm trying to be really good. But I used to wear it every night for a long time. But now I've just like, my teeth stay straight for a good amount of time. So I like pop it in once or twice a week. Um, and it's for as long as I sleep. So anywhere from like seven to 10 hours. <laughs> um, oof, I will need to translate this because I'm not sure what this is. Itch. All right, so Francisco Silva, I'm going to try and speak in Portuguese. Actually, no, that's it. I probably can't even. 
então. Olha essa letra. Eu sou apenas meu eu autêntico. Estou trabalhando o meu caminho de volta para Deus. Con Maluk, Lisa, beautiful, best body girl. I love you. Okay, this is a good position. Okay. Ah, thanks, Con. Thanks. Hearts. Oh, I did all the ones over there. Let's see for how to review. Um. Wow, you better leave that cat thing alone. Oh gosh. I need to I don't wanna be like beaten up. Alright, let me do I responded. Make sure. Oh, okay. Robert Swenson, you're beautiful. I hope you're the very best. Oh thank you. Thanks, Robert. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And um I don't talk about location stuff, sorry. And then Nike said, uh, oh, the Ronnie Festo said, are you a W, are you or was a WWE fan? If yes, who is your favorite WWE wrestler? It can be any modern or classic. Um, I used to watch WWE with my grandparents. Um, gosh. I like Jericho. Is there... Ed Hardy? No, Matt Hardy? I always think Ed Hardy, but that's the perfume guy that I have. But Matt Hardy, right? Um, I liked him. Um, Batista, is, I think, was my grandma's favorite. So, yeah. And Blunt Nugurgum? I hope I said that right. I'm sorry if I mispronounced. You like to overpower people. Um, no. The only people I like to overpower are the people who like to overpower other people. And I do it just to give them a reality check. To be like, you're not superior to anybody. You're equal. So, yeah. Anyways, that answered all your questions. Yay! Thank you guys so much for being here and watching the video. Much love. Have a great day. Bye.